Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, so many of you today. Good afternoon, Gus. Hi, Sudono. Hi, Pat. Hello, hi, Jim. Hi, Aling. Hi, Jacqueline. Good to see all of you. Happy Saturday. Hi, Fong. How's everyone doing today? Hello. Alright, hi. Good to see all of you to join me on Vinyasa One practice. Thank you very much, Gus. You know I needed that. Hi, Masako. Alright, here to guide you through your practice. Hi, Winnie. Good afternoon. Welcome to Vinyasa One. Um, okay, so as some of you, I guess most of you have already known that we are going to also start um, a pure cast um, on yoga. So basically, for um, this, that's actually open to all the pure members. So pure members, you can all start to book your class classes next week. Hi, Christian. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Vinyasa One. Anyone's first time to Vinyasa One practice? First time practicing with me, maybe, I suppose. Okay, so for Vinyasa One practice, we flow with the breath, work with the body. All right, so be a little bit mindful today. So today I might flow a little bit slower, all right? Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to flow a little bit slower. So basically, be a little bit mindful. I want to focus on the transition of the pose, from the poses as well. Okay, so um, as some of you know, I actually sustained a hip injury. So some of the poses, I won't push myself. So the same applies to you as well. So if you don't feel good, just step back a little bit. If you feel good, you wish to challenge yourself, go ahead. Okay, so get a mat ready. If you need a block, a block will come in handy. I might use some block for some support as well. All right, so listen to the body, do what you can. We will be doing um, a little bit of focus on the hamstrings today. All right, thank you very much. I'll take care. So I'll be giving you a verbal cues, all right, to give you the options. If I can't go into the poses, you can always choose to challenge yourself, okay? So flow with the breath. Any point in time, if you need a break, you know, child's pose, down facing dog, you can always give a vinyasa if you need to. Are you guys ready? Just to check, can you hear me loud and clear? Even, even with the background music, just kind of to check before I go over and start the class. Yes? Okay, I'm not going to off the comments, just in case some of you are going to talk. Um, or if you have some feedback, you need to tell me. So if you wish to kind of draw down the strings of this comment box, just press on the title and pull it down. So it will shorten that, all right? So you can see my mat. We will flow through, I know all of you know, actually you like mandala flow, so we might flow through mandala flow today. Okay, great. Let's begin, come to your mat. in Sukhasana or any sitting position that you like. Find a comfortable seat. You can sit in Sukhasana cross-legged or you can just sit in Bajrasana like what I'm doing now. Sit on your heels, place your hands on your knees, lengthen the spine, sit up nice and tall and gently close your eyes. stillness on the mat before we begin. As you bring your focus to your breath, seek and deepen and lengthen each breath. With the inhalation, lifting from the chest, lengthen the spine. With the exhalation, soften the body. Allow the shoulders to gently descend away from the ears. Deep breath in and out through the nose. We start to quiet the mind. Clearing the mind of space, creating mental space. So the theme for today's class, mindfulness, that's a big word. Think about what that means to you. And how you can start to be mindful at this moment, at this point in time, focusing on your breath. 
Perhaps listening to the sound of her breath. Or perhaps just noticing how warm your air is, your breath is. Taking a moment, finding your mindfulness on the mat. Be mindful of your breath and the body. Gently join the palms together, bring the thumbs to the heart center. Turning on the Ujjayi breath, feel like constricting the back of the throat slightly. Hearing your breath clearly in your Ujjayi breath, align this breath to guide you through the practice. Bring your thumbs to the eyebrow center and gently bow forward. Blink your eyes open. Namaste everyone. Enjoy your class. Now let's come to all fours, find the tabletop position. Spreading the fingers out wide, stack the shoulders directly on top of the wrist, hips on top of the knees, now knees and feet keep distance apart. We will begin with cat-cow breathing to warm up the spine. As you inhale, belly down, tailbone up, chin up, gaze up to the ceiling, arching the spine into your cow pose. Exhale to tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly in, look to the belly button, push into the palms, rounding the back. Inhale, melt the heart. Draw the shoulders back and down, tailbone points up, gaze up. Exhale to scoop the sit bone under, pull the navel into the spine, press in the palms, protract the shoulders round the back. Three more times, inhale, move with the breath. Start to work with the breath, be mindful, look up. Exhale, scoop the sit bone under, push into the palms, protract the shoulders, spread the shoulder blades apart more, round the back. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, find the cat pose, round the back. One more time, inhale, belly down, cow pose, arch in the spine, look up, gaze up. Exhale to a cat pose, pull the belly in, tighten the belly, round the back. Back to a neutral spine, now look forward, walk the hands forward, find your puppy pose. So you can lower the forehead down, bring the chin down to the mat if you are more open. Now if you need more assistance, you can place a block underneath the chin and just rest the chin down. Walking the hands forward, now hands shoulders distance apart. If you can go deeper, chest down to the mat. If you, add, you wish to add in a little bit of shoulder stretch, you can bring the palms together, bend the elbows, place the thumbs to the crown of the head. Start to feel the chest open, broadening the collarbone, arching the spine, like a back bend, keep the hips up high, hold it here, one more deep breath and heel, stay here, see so you can press the chest down further with your exhale. Now back to the center, walk hands back, find the tabletop position. As you inhale, cow pose, belly down, tailbone up, chin up, look up. Now stay in your cow pose, arching the back here. Shift the weight forward, shoulders past the wrists, bend the elbows, place the chest between the thumbs, knees, chest, chin pose, eight point pose. Hug the elbows in. Now untuck the toes, glide forward to your baby cobra, keeping the elbows bent. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze the knees together, hold it here, look up. Lower the head all the way down to the mat as you exhale. Now stretch your arms back, interlace the fingers behind you, squeeze the base and palms together, pull the knuckles up to the ceiling, look forward, squeeze the heels together, inhale and lift the chest. Start to peel the chest off the mat, focusing on strengthening the back, squeezing the inner thigh together, flap the lower back strength to lift up high. So you can pull the knuckles to the toes, chest forward, gaze up for three, two, one, gently release. Lower all the way down. Now hands underneath the shoulders. Push. Find your full cobra. Straighten the arms. Stretch your front body a little bit more. Feeling is like dragging the heels of the palms back. Chest forward. Gaze up. Now deep breath in heel. Point the toes back. As you exhale, look towards the right side. Twisting the body. So you can find the left heel from behind. Keep the arms straight. Shoulders away from the ears. Back to the center and heel. Look to the left. Exhale. This time, try to look for the right heel. Chest forward. Hold it here. 
Back to the center and heel. Look up to the ceiling. So you can press down into the palm straight and arms. Stretch out the front wall. Hold it here. One more breath and heel. Now tuck the toes. Exhale to press back. Your first downward facing dog. Hips up. Heels down. Finding the upside down V shape. Now keep your feet hip distance apart. Round the heels down. Spread the fingers out wide. Push the top of the mat away from you. As a little step going up higher, so you can bring the belly closer to the thighs. Now find stillness, stillness in the down dog together with a stretch. Hold it here, spread the fingers out wide. Now heels up high and heel. Bend the right knee, ground the left heel down as you exhale. Feel the left hamstring stretch. Straighten the right leg, left heel up high and heel. Now bend the left knee, ground the right heel down as you exhale. Now switch, bend the right knee, ground the left heel down, stretch left hamstrings. Switch, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, ground the right heel down. Switch, bend the right knee, ground the left heel. Last one, switch, bend the left knee, ground the right heel down. Now straighten both legs, heels up high, inhale, bend both knees, belly to the thighs. Stretch out the upper back here. Push the top of the mat away from you. So you can touch your forehead down. Bring the belly closer than the thighs. Keep the heels up high. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Now straighten both legs in heel. Ground the heels down. Down foot facing dog. Exhale. Plank in heel. Shift the weight forward. Stack shoulders on top of the wrist. Now squeeze the kneecap nice and tight. Hold it here and heel. Drop the heels to the right as you exhale. Keep the palms down and lift the hips up. Twist the left side of the body. Back to plank and heel. Drop the heels towards the left. Push into the palms. Hold it here. Back to plank and heel. Now lower your knees. Chest. Chin down. Eight point pose. Exhale. Untuck the toes. Glide forward. Full cobra. Arm straight. Chest forward, gaze up. Tuck the toes, exhale, press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up, feet hit distance apart, sorry. Heels up high, heel. Now drop the heels to the right. Keep the body in down dog, hips up high. Then bend the knees, bring the belly to the thigh. Stretching on the left side body. Push in the left palms more. Hold it here, hips up high. One deep breath. Back to the center, heels up high and heel. Drop the heels to the left. Now bend the knees, belly to the thighs. Feel the right side body stretch. Keep the body in down dog as a twist. Push firmly to the right hand. Stretch on right side body. One more deep breath. Back to the center, straighten both legs and heel. Bend the knees, belly to the thighs. One more time. Now see this time whether you can touch your forehead down. Bring the belly closer towards the thighs. Stay pushing the top of the mat away. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Now look forward. Shift the weight forward. Plank. Inhale. Hold it here. Now your choice of vinyasa. You can choose chaturanga or nishashin in chaturanga like a low push up. Inhale to up dog cobra. Up dog thighs off the mat. Chest forward. Gaze up. And tuck the toes. Exhale to press back. Down with facing dog. This time in down dog, bring your feet together, hold it here, one more deep breath. Now feet together, heels up high, stretch your right leg up, three leg up. Keep the left heel up high, so you can point the right toes up to the ceiling. Hold it here, reach up higher, one deep breath, heel. Knee to the right elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch the right elbow. Inhale, keep the right leg up, three leg up. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three leg dog. Knee to the left elbow to touch and hold so you can draw it up higher towards the left tricep. Then slowly straighten the right leg up towards the left, extend it up, reverse side plank, fallen triangle, stretch the left leg up. Spin the inner left foot down, straighten both legs. Now if you like to make this a back bend, sweep the left bicep out here and lean back. Hips up high, chest up. One more deep breath in here. Left hand down, kick the right leg up, bend the right knee, open the hips as exhale. Hold it here, 
Now left heel up high and heel, knee to the right tricep. Hold it up high, touch and hold for three, shift the weight forward more. Two, one, step right foot outside the right hand, stretch right hand up to the ceiling, open the chest. Then sweep the right bicep by the ear, so you can arch upper body back. Twist the body, lean back a little bit more. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, step back, down with facing dog, exhale. One breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three leg up. Keep the right heel up high, point the left toes up. So you can split the legs more, reach it up higher. One more breath, heel. Knee to the left elbow, shift the weight forward to touch the left elbow. Inhale, keep the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the right elbow to touch and hold. Now see so you can pull it up high. Then straighten the left leg out towards the right side. Spin the inner right foot down, reverse side plank or fallen triangle. Push down, hips up. Sweep the right bicep by the ear, make this a back bend. Shining the right rib cage up to the ceiling, lean back more. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, kick the left leg up. Bend the left knee, open the hips as you exhale. Right heel up high, inhale. Knee to the left tricep, bring it forward to touch, pull it up high. Three, two, one step, left foot outside the left hand. Keep the right leg straight, straight and stretch left hand up. Now sweep the left bicep by the ear. Lean back, shining the left rib cage up to the ceiling. Hold it here. One more breath, here. Hands down, step back, down with facing dog. Exhale. Plank, inhale. Now stay in plank, or if you like one chaturanga till low push up, exhale. Push up to high plank, inhale. Now your choice of vinyasa, flow it through. Chaturanga, only shashin. Exhale. Inhale to your up double cobra. Exhale to press back. Down with facing up. One deep breath in. Full breath out. Now feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward. Step or hop forward. Come to the top of the mat. Now hands on the shins, half lift, lengthen the spine, inhale, left back. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Inhale to standing, rise up, palms touch, lean back, arch back into your gentle back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, standing, palms touch. Lean back, arch back, so you can deepen the back bend, chest up. Hips forward, arms straight, legs straight. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. One more round. Inhale to rise. This time, so you can stretch back further. Palms touch, chest up. Arms straight, so you can bring the arms behind the ears, deepen the back bend, chest up, lean back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine, look forward and heel. Now step your feet, keep distance apart, exhale to fold. Grab the elbows each other, find the right dog. Sway the body side to side, side to side. If you'd like to nod and bring your hands forward and back, forward and back, go ahead. Start to feel this, the back open, your hamstrings, the back, finding stillness. Now see so you can tip the weight forward slightly to the toes. Squeeze on top of the knee, keep nice and tight. And bring the elbows down, closer. Maybe elbows touching the toes one day. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Gently release the hands up, half the length in the spine. <clears throat> Exhale to fold. Bring your feet together, heels toes touch. Inhale to rise, standing, arms up, lean back, arch back. Hands in front of the chest, samasthiti. <clears throat> Close your eyes. If you'd like to set an intention, go ahead. Perhaps think about mindfulness again. How you can be more mindful of your practice. Be more conscious about yourself. Maybe starting with flowing with the breath. See how you can work with the breath and work with the body.
Again, tension set. Now blink your eyes open. Inhale to reach arms up. Lean back. Arch back. Exhale the bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Half lift. Lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fold. Now step the right leg back. Lower the right knee down. Low lunge. Arch agasana. Stretch your arms up and heel. Bend the left knees to the hips down low. Chest up. Arms up. Lean back. Arch back. So you can deepen the back bend. Reach your arms back more. Bend the left knees to the hips forward and down. One more deep breath, kneel. Now hands down, step back, down, with facing dog, exhale. Plank, inhale. Stay in your plank or your choice, one chaturanga, low plank, exhale. Push up to high plank, inhale. Exhale to your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, all knees chest chin. Inhale to your up dog or your cobra. Exhale, tap the toes, press back, down, with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog. Point the right toes up high, one breath, heel. Knees to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch and hold, three, two, one. Step right foot forward, left knee down, low lunge. Anjali asana, stretch your arms up and heel. Bend right knees to the hips down low, as you stretch your arms back. Now chest open, straighten the arms back. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, step the left foot forward, forward fold, with tanasana, exhale. Inhale to standing, rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back. Exhale the bow forward all the way down, with tanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the fold, now step right leg back, left leg back, plank pose. Option to stay in your plank or one, chaturanga if you like, exhale. Push up to your high plank and heel. Your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, or nisha shin. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Now you can stay here or you can like reverse vinyasa. Back to chaturanga, or nisha shin. Exhale. Push up the high plank, heel. Press back, down, with facing dog. Exhale. One deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees. Look forward, step right foot forward. Left foot forward. Half the length in the spine, heel. Exhale, fold. Inhale to standing, rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half the length in the spine, heel. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose to the hips down low, reach arms up high. Bicep body is arms up higher. One more deep breath, heel. Exhale, bow forward, straighten the legs, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale, the fold. Now step or hop back. Flow through any vinyasa that you like. And let's all meet in your down with facing dog. Catch your breath and down dog. Reset. One deep breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high. Stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. Three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch the nose, hold it, three, two, one, step right foot forward, warrior one, spin the back heel down, and heel to rise. Bend the right knee, sit hips down low, square the hips to the front, bend the right knee, reach your arms up, one more breath, heel, hands down, step back, flow through any vinyasa that you like, and let's all meet in your downward facing dog. Remember, any point in time, if you need a break, you can always keep a vinyasa and come straight to down dog. One deep breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward. Now step or hop forward, come to the top of the mat. Half lift, lengthen, inhale, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit hips down low, reach arms up high. Now look up to the palms, join the palms together overhead. Straight the legs, stand all the way up, inhale, lean back, arch back, exhale. Hold it here, one more breath, inhale. Hands in front of the chest, Sabastitihi. One deep breath in. Full breath up. Left side, inhale, reach your arms up. Lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale, fold. Step the left leg back, lower the left knee down, low lunge. Arjaniasana, stretch arms up, kneel, reach out, lean back. Open the chest, stretch arms up and back. Hold it here. One more deep breath, heel. 
Hands down, step back, down with things we knock, exhale. Plank, inhale. Stay in plank like you feel strong, one chaturanga, exhale. Push up to your high plank, inhale. Exhale to your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, only session. Inhale to your up dog, cobra. Exhale to press back, down with facing down. Stay in, catch one deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three legged up, inhale. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch, hold it, three, two, one. Step left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge. Anjangasana, stretch arms up in here, reach up, lean back. So you can bend the front knee, sit the hips down low, stretch your arms up, chest up, and lean back. Arching your spine, gaze up. One more breath, heel. Hands down, step the right foot forward. Uttanasana, forward fold, exhale. Inhale the standing, rise, palms touch. Lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half the lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Now step your left leg back. Right leg back. Find your plank pose. Now you can stay here. If you like one, chaturanga. Exhale. Push up to high plank heel. Exhale to your choice of vinyasa. Chaturanga or Nishashin. Inhale to your up double cobra. Now you can stay here or back to chaturanga or Nishashin if you feel strong. Push up to high plank heel. Press back. Down. One face knock. Exhale. Take one deep breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, look forward, soften the knees, step left foot forward. Right foot forward, half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Inhale the standing, rise up, palms touch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale to bow forward all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose to the hips down low, reach arms up high. Hold it here, tuck the tailbone, bend the knees, weight to the heels, arms up, one breath, kneel. Hands down, forward fold, exhale. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale, fold. Now step a hop back, low through any vinyasa that you like. If you are tired, just skip it, and last or less or me in your down with peace and Pause here. Focus on your breath. Bring your focus back to the breath. Be mindful of the breath. See how you can work the breath with the flow. One more breath. Feet together. Heels up high. Left leg stretch up. Three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose. Exhale. Shift the weight forward. Touch your nose. Hold it. Three, two, one. Step left foot forward. Now find a warrior one. So spin the right foot down. Bend the left knee. Sit hips down low. Square the hips to the front. Stretch arms up. So you can press down firmly to the outer edge of the right foot. Now if you're more bendy, half the rib catch in, reach your arms up high. Hold it here. One breath, heel. Now hands down, step back. Flow through vinyasa of your choice and let's all meet in your downward facing dog. Remember, you always have the option to skip if you need to. Learn to work with the breath, learn to work with the body. One more breath. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, now step or hop forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale the fold. Inhale the standing, rise, palms edge. Lean back, arch back. Hands in front of the chest, exhale, samasthiti. Catch your breath, body starts to warm up, see so if can slow down the breath. Be mindful of the flow. One more breath. Now inhale to reach your arms up, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale to bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel, exhale to fold, bend the knees, Uttanasana, chair pose, sit hips down low, reach your arms up high. Now option to stay in chair or propose if you choose. So if you propose, if you like unbalancing, palms flat down, bring the knees high up to the tricep, then slowly look forward and tilt the weight forward. So you can bring your big toes together to touch. Hold it here. Look forward. One more deep breath in here. As you exhale, step or hop back. Everyone, go through vinyasa of your choice. Chaturanga or Nishashin. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to press back. Down, one face to dog. 
So listen to the body, pick your option. So for me, I pick my options today as well. Feet together, heels up high. Now stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog. Reach your right leg up high, deep breath in here. Now knee to the right tricep, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the left elbow to touch. So you can pull it up high to the tricep. Then straighten the right leg up, spin the inner left foot down, reverse side plank. Push down, hips up. Now switch the left bicep up here. Look towards the right foot, slowly float the right foot off the mat. So you can bend the right knee to touch the right elbow. It's like a side plank. Continue to roll the right shoulder back. Hold it, three, two, one. Left hand down, keep the right leg up. Bend the right knee, open the hips, exhale. Left heel up, high heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold it here. All three legged chaturanga. Straighten the right legs, bend the elbows, look forward. Knee to the nose, touch and hold for three, two, one. Step right foot forward, now left knee down. No lunge, arm during your stir, stretch your arms up, keep looking forward. As you exhale, twist towards the left side, right hand forward, left hand back. Now reverse, left hand to the back leg. Sweep right bicep by the ear, lean back, arch back. So you can stretch back further. Bend the right knee, sit hips forward and down. Crawl the left fingertips back, stretch right hand back. One more breath, heel. As you exhale, place the right hand inside the right foot. And sweep the left bicep by the ear. Roll the left shoulder back. Hold it here. Now reach the left hand back or half bind. Grab the inner right thigh. If you can go into your full bind, go ahead. Right hand underneath the right thigh and see if you can grab the left fingers or the left wrist. Straighten the left hand. Now try not to collapse the body on the right thigh. Instead, lift the chest up. Lean the left shoulder back. Now keep your half bind or full bind. Look down towards the mat. The right foot. Slowly tuck the left toes and float the left knee off the mat. Spin the left foot down. So you count into your bound, bound side angle pose. Belly away from right thigh, roll the left shoulder, right, left shoulder back, hold it here. Slowly straighten the right leg. Now keep the bind on the half bind. Hold it here. Now option to stay here or look down towards the right foot. Soften the right knee, slowly shift the weight to the right leg and throw the left leg so you find your bound half moon pose. Now this is all about balancing. So you can squeeze the right knee can nice and tight. Straighten the left leg. Straighten the right leg as well. Hold it here. For three. For two. And one. Soften the right knee. Gently step back. Now keep the bind. Straighten the right leg one more time. Turn the right toes in. Find your bound for a full pass reader. Look forward, inhale, exhale, fold. Now keeping the twist as a fold, look towards the left and see if it can look up to the sling way past the left shoulder. Keep the twist, keep the bind. Hold it here. One last deep breath, twist deeper. Now release the bind. Half lift, lengthen the spine here. Exhale, the fold between the thighs. Now like a setup or tripod, place the palms flat on the mat. Lower the crown of the head down. So you can find a balance, maybe float the heels up, maybe halfway or maybe all the way. Your choice. I'm going to go halfway today. Hold it here for three. Just optional, if not just for four. Two, one. Gently lower down. Half lift, lengthen the spine here. Now turn the left toes to the back of the room. Walk the hands forward. Now frame the left foot, ground the right foot down. Half lift, lengthen the spine, exhale the full pyramid pose. So you can bring the chin to the shin. If you can go deeper, crawl the fingertips more more. Both legs straight. Feel the left hamstring stretch. Now actively draw the outer left hip back towards the inner right thigh. Squeeze both knee cam nice and tight. Look forward, go deeper for three, two, one. Now go forward, keep the hands down. Slowly shift the weight to the right leg, push the left leg, sorry, and float the right leg up. So it's like a supported version of your warrior three. Square the other right hip down, now squeeze the left knee, cap nice and tight. Slowly stretch your left hand up to the ceiling. Revolve half moon pose. 
Option to stay here or bend the right knee, reach back, grab the right foot and kick heel away from the bar. Hold it here for three, two, one. Gently release both hands down. Half lift, lengthen the spine here, standing splits as you exhale. Walk the hands back, frame the left foot. Maybe grab the left ankle, one or both hands. I won't go so deep because of my legs, but you can, so try. Hold it for three, two, one. Slowly step the right foot down, bend both knees, put Kitasana, chapel, sit hips, elbow, reach arms up high. Hold it here, now palms to the heart center and heel, twist to the left, exhale, hook right elbow, outside the left thigh. Get the chest, hold it. Now look down towards the feet, shift the weight to the right leg and stand up, keeping the elbows touching the left. As high as you can. Stay or split the arms. Right hand forward, left hand back. Now right hand can grab the outside of the left knee or reach down, grab the left foot and kick. Last option, look towards the left hand. See so you can find the balance. Hold it here for three, two, one. Back to the center. Stretch your arms up, kick the left heel forward. Now step back to your present lunge. Step the left leg back, chest up, lean back, arch back. Lean forward halfway, resting warrior, exhale. One more deep breath, heel. Now hands down, kick the right leg up, three leg up. Option to flow through three leg of vinyasa. Normal vinyasa. Or just step back to your down foot physical. Do what you can, listen to the body, one breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Top of the mat. Half the leg to the spine heel, exhale forward. Bend the knees, hold the fastener, chest pose, sit hips elbow, reach arms up high. Now draw the belly in, palms to the heart center and heel, twist to the right, exhale. Foot left elbow, outside right thigh. Now lift the chest, lower and spin the right shoulder back. Look down towards the feet. This time you shift the weight to the right leg and see so if you can squeeze left heel to the bum. Float the left foot off the mat. If you can slowly extend the left leg back, keeping the twist, go ahead. Eventually, shape the right leg as well. Hold it here. If not, just stay your chair twist. One more deep breath here. Keep the twist, step the left toes back. Left foot step back, high lunge twist. Lift the chest, hold it here, roll the right shoulder back. Find your resting warrior, stretch your arms forward. Inhale to your crescent lunge. Exhale to your warrior two. Spin the back heel down, left foot down. Spread the arms apart. Now lean towards right hand, with the right palm in here, reverse warrior, exhale. Left hand to the back leg, sweep right balance and body here, lean back, arch back. Back to warrior two, inhale. Supported side angle, exhale, bend right elbow on top of right thigh, sweep left bicep body here. If you can go deeper, extend the version, place left right hand inside right foot. Continuously spin the left shoulder back. Keeping all of this, straight and right leg, three canasana. You can place right hand on the shin to the leg. Lean the left shoulder back more for one more deep breath and heel. As you exhale, left hand on the left hip. Look down towards right foot, find a half moon pose. Now this time is unbound. So see if you can find the balance better. Left hand peel the left hip open and stretch the hand out to the same. Option to stay here or bend the left knee, find which pasta. I'm just gonna stay in half moon pose. You can bend the left knee, grab the left ankle and kick heel away from the bum. Hold it here, otherwise stay in the half moon. For three, two, one. Back to your half moon pose first, straighten the left hand and the left leg. Then soften the right knee, step back, or it two. Bend the right knee, sit hips down low. Now straighten right leg and heel, turn the right toes in, pass the down, but this time let's interlace the fingers behind you, squeeze the base of the palms together, pop the chest up, look up and heel. Exhale, bow forward into your forward fold. So you can bring the hands forward more, squeezing the shoulder blades together, head down to the mat. Hold it here. One more deep breath. 
Release the hands down, half lift lengthen the spine heel. Now turn the left toes to the front. At this time, walk the hands forward, but bring the hands inside the left foot. So the hands are towards the right side of the left foot. Now lengthen the spine heel, exhale the fold. So we're adding on to an inner thigh stretch as well. Both hands inside the left foot, fold a little bit deeper. And if you draw the upper left hip back, bend the elbows. Hold it here. One last deep breath. Now half lift, lengthen the spine, go forward. Right heel off the mat, lower the right knee down to the mat. Now hold it here. Keep both, keep the finger pads on the mat. Straighten the left leg like a half hadun manasana, fold inside the left thigh. So the key is inside the left thigh. You want to add in the inner thigh stretch as well. Now option to stay here or those that can slide into your splits, go ahead. I'm not going to do that today. I'll listen to my body. Alright. So you can slide the left heel forward. The left heel will go towards the left side a little bit more. Alright. Or maybe just widen. Go deeper. So you can lower the four arms down. For that, three, two, one. Now soften the left knee, palms down, step back, go through vinyasa of your choice, and let's all meet in your downward facing dog. At the point in time, you are tired, you know what to do, skip a vinyasa. A child's pose is also always a good option. Now, just one more set to go. <laughs> Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three legged drop and heel. Knee to the left, tricep, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Kick the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the right, tricep, touch, pull it up high. Now straighten the left leg out, spin the inner right foot down, stretch for can up, reverse side plank. Push down, hips up. So you can suit the right bicep by the ear. Now look towards the left foot. If you can float the left foot, go ahead. I'm just going to bring the right left knee to touch that elbow. Float the left foot. Reach right hand forward. Lean the right shoulder back. Three, two, one. Right hand down. Keep the left leg up. Bend left knee. Open the hips as exhale. Right heel up. High heel. Knee to the nose. Exhale to stay. Or three legged chaturanga. Bend the elbows. Look forward. Straight to the left leg. Inhale. Knee to the nose. Touch and hold for three, two, one. Step left foot forward. Right knee down. Low lunge. Stretch your arms up. Look forward. If you can bend the left knee a little bit more, go ahead, like hand goes so deep. Stretch your arms up in here. Now look to the right side as a twist, open. Left hand forward, right hand back. Reverse, right hand to the back leg. Sweep left, bicep by the heel, lean back, arch back. So you can claw the right fingertips down and stretch the left hand back more. Very light weight on the right hand. Keep the left knee bent. Hold it, one more deep breath, heel. As exhale, left hand down, right hand reach up. Like a side angle pose, but keep the right knee down. Now sweep the right bicep out of here, roll and spin the right shoulder back. Right hand reach back to grab the inner left thigh for half bind, or you can full bind, go ahead. I'm just going to go for a half bind on my this side. So pick your options as well. Once again, the bind, look down, tuck the right toes, float the right knee off the mat. Spin the outer right foot down. Continue to lift the left side body away from the left thigh as you lean the right shoulder back more. So you can stick with the bind slowly, straight to the left leg. If you're in half bind, you can do the same thing, like me. Hold it here, keep lifting, lean back more. One more deep breath, kneel. As you exhale, look down. Option to stay here or soften the left knee and look down. So you can float the right leg up. So pick your option. I'm going to use a block. So if you need Use a block and you can come up high. Now, if this is challenging for you, you can release the full bind and come to half bind. Float the right leg up high, bind the balance. If you unbind, keep focusing, see if you can straighten the left leg. For three, two, one. Gently release. Lower the right leg down. Hold it here. Inhale the rise all the way up. Four and two. Bend the left knee. Sit the hips down low. Now straighten the left leg, turn the left toes in. Stretch your arms up and heel. Exhale, bow forward into your forward fold. Pass Rita. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the fold. Now second set, like a set up for tripod. Arms down. Lower the crown of the head down. If you have tripod head stand, you wish to go ahead, go ahead. 
Otherwise, just stay in the forward walk. Hold it here. Roll the way to the toes. Maybe lift the leg up to the ceiling if you can. Hold it. Three. Two. One. If you're upside down, straddle the feet apart. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fall. Now turn the right toes towards the back. Walk the hands over towards the back. Now ground both feet to heel the one line. Lengthen the spine, pyramid pose in heel. Exhale to fold over the right thigh. Chin to the shin. At the feet, draw the outer right hip back like a scissoring the inner thighs. Hold it here. Maybe quad finger pad spot. For three. For two. And one. Now half lift in heel. Look forward, slowly shift the weight to the right leg and float the left leg up. Square the outer left leg down. Hold it here. Flex the left toes down. Find the revolved half foot. Stretch right hand up to the ceiling. Keep the hips square, so lower back flat. Now option to stay here or bend the left knee, reach back. Shapasana, revolve half foot. I can't kick so hard, so if you can, keep the heel away from the bum. Keep the right leg straight, twist the body to the right. For the last three, two, one. Gently release the hands down, straighten the left leg in heel, look forward, lengthen the spine, point the left toes, exhale, fold over the right thigh. Stand in splits. Any variation with the hands in the left, you can grab the right ankle from behind, maybe both hands, and see if you can lift the left leg up high, split the legs further. This will help you for the actual split later on. For three, two, one, release the hands, gently step the feet together, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit the hips down low, reach arms up high. Hold it here, one more breath, kneel. Exhale, bow forward to Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine here, exhale the fold, step a hop back, vinyasa of your choice, and let's all meet in your downward facing dog. If you are tired, you know what to do, skip your vinyasa. Hold it here. One more sequence to go, one more deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine here. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit limbs down low, reach arms up high. Palms to the heart center and heel. Now twist to your left, hook the right elbow, outside the left thigh. Push into the palms, lift the chest to the thumbs. Hold it here. I think I missed something. So come to the center and heel. Now twist to the right first, hold it here. Now lift the chest to the thumbs, look down. Now shift the weight towards the left leg and stand all the way up. Keep the bind. So I'm not going to keep the bind because of my left hip. So hold it here. Want to stand all the way up, lift the chest and sit the arms apart. Hold it here. Left hand forward. Right hand back. Maybe grab the right knee from the outside or reach down and grab the right foot. Your choice. If you're grabbing the foot, extend leg and look towards right hand. Hold it here. For one more deep breath. Now back to the center, stretch arms up high, extend right leg forward, hold it, step back into your crescent lunge. Stretch arms up and heel, lean back, exhale. One more breath, heel, lean forward halfway, resting warrior, hold it here. One more breath, heel, hands down, go through one more vinyasa as a bonus. Let's all meet in your down with facing up. One breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step on forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel, exhale to fall. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Palms to the heart center, this time we twist the left for sure. Hook right elbow, outside left eye. Lift the chest, now look down, shift the weight to the left leg, and put the right heel off the mat. I'm just going to come on my tippy toes because I can't lift my right foot. So if you can, squeeze the right foot to the bum. So you squeeze the right heel to the bum, maybe extend the right leg back. Keep the twist. Hold it here. Maybe straighten both legs for three, two, one. Now step back, high lunge twist. Push in the palms, lift the chest. Resting warrior in heel, stretch arms forward. Press and lunge, rise up. 
Four and two, exhale, spin the right toe down, spread arms apart. Lean towards the left hand, put the left palm in here, reverse warrior exhale. Right hand to the back leg, Sudna Basavadiya, lean back, arch back. Back to your warrior two and heel. Support on side angle, exhale. Left elbow on top of left thigh, Sudna the right Basavadiya, roll the right shoulder back. If you can deepen this pose, you can lower the left fingertips down to the mat. Slowly straighten left leg, Trikonasana. If you need to come up higher, place left hand on the shin. Roll the right shoulder back more, straighten the both legs. One more deep breath, heel. As you exhale, right hand on the right hip, look down, find the half of the pose. Shift the weight to the left leg, slowly pull the right leg up. Hold it here, right hand, peel the right hip open, extend the right hand up to the side. Now, option to stay here, or if you can go into Chapasana, bend the right knee, reach back, grab the ankle and kick. Heel away from the bum. Twist the body to the right. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Slowly release, half on pose. Soften the left knee, step back, find your warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Now turn the left toes in. Stretch your arms up and heel. Exhale, fold forward. Any forward fold that you like. You can walk the hands back. If you like to go into upside down, you can go ahead. I'm just going to thread my hands between the thighs and place the palms back down. Palm of the hip down. Squeeze the kneecap hands in tight. Hold it here. Pull up. Three. Two. One, walk the hands back, half the length of the spine, turn the right toes to the front. Now both heels in one line, this time the hands inside the right foot and fold inside right thigh, bend the elbows down. Keep both legs straight. So the same thing, we add on an inner thigh stretch here. Hold it here, pull up three, two, one, half the length of the spine. Now left heel off the mat slowly, lower the left knee down. And straighten the right leg one more time. Find your half splits or full splits. If you have full splits, slide the right heel forward. Left leg back. I won't go so deep for today. Now so you slide the right heel to the top right corner of your mat. You need to support, support the hands. Otherwise, all the way down. For last three, two, one hands down, slide the right leg back. Now step back, go through any vinyasa of your choice, your last vinyasa, let's all meet in your downward facing dog. One deep breath in, full breath out. Plank inhale, lower knees, chest, chin down, exhale. Untuck the toes, glide forward to your full cobra, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, gaze up, lower the head all the way down as you exhale. Now interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the base of the palms together, pull and peel the chest of the mat, like what we did in our warm up. Now see, so you can squeeze the thighs together and float the left legs off the mat. Chest up, knuckles back, look up, gaze up, lift up for three, two, one, gently release all the way down. Now turn around, lie down on your back. Slowing down from here. Bend both knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Grab your elbows each other or the hands, rock side to side, side to side, massage the back. Choose your own version of spinal twist. Drop the knees to the left, hips slightly to the right, and spread arms apart. You can go deeper, eager the legs, you can go ahead. I'm just going to go for a simple spinal twist. Now look towards the right side, round the right shoulder blade down. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Now, spine and twist to the right. Drop both knees over towards the right side. Ground the left shoulder blade down. Stretch the arms apart. Hold it here. One 
last deep breath. Now back to the center, find your happy baby, open the knees up wide. Grab the feet from the outside, press the hips down. You'd like to massage your back, rock side to side, side to side. Now one last stretch, turn the hands to grab the inside of the feet and start to straighten both legs, flex the toes. So you can bring your toes to touch the mat. Sorry, the wooden floor, all at the floor, no wooden. So use the teaching in pure yoga studio. You all miss the studio, right? Now so you can touch your toes down, press the hips down, lengthen the back, lengthen the spine. For the last three, two, and one. Gently release. Bind the final shavasana, feet met the sense apart, close your eyes. Now if you'd like to stay longer in the final shavasana, go ahead. Otherwise, you can sit up. Before I come to you, I'd like you to just find stillness and bring back to intention, maybe join the palms together. Connecting with the breath, your body, your mind the intention that I've said earlier. Notice how you have been mindful in your practice and see how I can take the same mindfulness to step off the mat. Allow yourself to stay mindful of what you do, stay in the present, enjoy each moment to the fullest. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste everyone. I'm coming to you. I hope you guys enjoy the practice. Let me know how it is. How's everyone doing? Good? Okay, I won't, I'm sorry that I can't demonstrate a lot on the left side. But it teaches us some things as well, right? That sometimes we need to work with what we have. Right? Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Julia. Thanks, Aline. Thanks, Gus. Thanks, Kaling. Good to see you again. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Winnie. Thanks, Jacqueline, for joining me. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Today, we focus a little bit on hamstrings. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Julia. You're here today. Thanks, Pat. Thank you, King Ling. So all of you know that we have the Zoom classes. So as, if you are, as long as you are a Pure member, you can actually log on, use a, your Pure 360 app to um, book classes, all right? So it's similar to this class, it's just as it's on a different platform. I will still continue to teach here. So I will be um, taking on Yin Yang class on Monday. If you'd like to join, the timing has changed 9.30. And then I'll still be teaching Vinyasa 1, but the timing has changed as well. So it'll be 3 p.m. All right, I'll still be on this platform. Great to see you again. Of course, if you want more, you can always PM me. I also hold other classes as well. Okay, thank you so much, Fong. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. Good to see you today. All right, I only have 40 seconds remaining. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. If you still feel that you have a lot of energy, want to continue to do more, there's Hatha One coming up next. All right. I think it's Miriam, we can join her at, um, no, it's not Miriam. I think she's holding on her workshop. All right, so join, have that one if you like. Otherwise, have a great Saturday, rest of the weekend. I'll see you Monday, maybe 9.30 for India. All right, namaste everyone. Happy weekend.